Touchdown, Seahawks! Are you kidding me? Number 39, the flag football star. The year was 1999, and it was training camp for the Seahawks. But there was one thing missing. One thing. Seahawks superstar wide receiver number 84, Joey Galloway. Galloway, he was in his final year of his contract with the Seahawks, and he was going to be bringing in just over $1.5 million that season. And he was the leading receiver for the Seahawks for the past three seasons. And Seattle had offered Galloway a seven-year contract worth $35 million, but, well, that wasn't good enough for our boy Joey. Well, it sounds like there was other guys that were getting similar money right around the time, or even maybe a little bit more, but yeah, I mean, clearly he valued himself as probably the best receiver in the NFL at the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, so he decided instead of playing in the NFL, he's going to hold out, but he's also going to fulfill a lifelong dream of becoming a quarterback. And that was for the Ohio Valley Flag Football League, who uh, went 4-0, by the way, when uh, he was playing with them. And he admits that he wasn't great at quarterback, but he was having fun. And three weeks into the season, the Seahawks withdrew their $35 million contract offer and told him that he must play under the terms of his existing contract if he wants to play at all. Well, that's playing hardball, but at the same time, you're almost kind of just saying that like when this is up, clearly you're moving on, which I was yeah. kind of frustrating as a Seahawks fan when we finally have someone as talented as right. Joey Galloway. Which happened and, you know, a lot. at the same time, yeah, I don't want some douche that doesn't want to play for us on our team, but... Yeah, happens a lot in sports. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so the holdout was actually costing him $93,000 a game. On top... <laughs> On top of that, <laughs> on top of that, the Seahawks were also fining him five thousand dollars a day. So, Man. yeah, so he ended up returning back to the Seahawks in Week Ten on November Fourteenth, where the Seahawks ended up defeating the Broncos twenty to seventeen. Yeah, I don't know. Anytime we kick those, hell yeah, the Broncos. Butts. Hell yeah, and uh, Galloway. And AFC West days. <laughs> Galloway, he had been fined three hundred and five thousand dollars for the 61 days since training camp opened, and he lost out on $279,000 in missed paychecks. So yeah. Just like one year of earnings for you, right, Josh? Yep, I mean. yep, <laughs> it's comparable. Yeah, so Joey Galloway. Show me the money. 